At this barley trial site in WA's Grain Belt, the search is on. PhD student Leon Hodgson is looking for signs of the damaging fungal disease net form of net blotch. Leon is undertaking a four-year research project made possible through a Grains Research Scholarship offered by WA's Department of Primary Industries and Regional Development and is supported by the Centre for Crop and Disease Management. The research focuses on ways to help barley growers better manage the risk of fungicide resistance in the pathogen that causes net form of net blotch. Based at the CCDM, Leon's project is building on previous work by the Centre's fungicide resistance team, which first confirmed reduced sensitivity to commonly used DMI or Group 3 fungicides to net form net blotch in WA in 2013. With resistance spreading to multiple locations since, Leon's work is focusing on the landscape genetics and spread of the pathogen, assessing management approaches to dealing with it and making improvements to the molecular toolkit to get a clearer picture of how it can be detected. So the, the objective of the study is to identify the gene flow of this particular uh, fungicide resistance in this pathogen to identify what then management strategies can be applied to try and reduce its development and resistance and flow within the farmer's paddocks. The project has two major components. The first part explored landscape aspects of gene flow and involved collecting and analysing leaves and stubble gathered from farmers' paddocks across a 20 kilometre array in the WA Grain Belt. The second part centres on a large field trial where Leon has continued to monitor the gene flow of the resistance whilst also testing strategies and treatments to control its spread. We're looking to see how far and how fast it can move under a normal agronomic situation. So to develop management tools to start to fight back against that fungicide resistance, we need to first know the speed at which it's going and travelling so we can identify and target it more directly. Deep Herd's Jeff Thomas is one of Leon's supervisors and says the research is key to building knowledge around the growing problem of fungicide resistance in net blotches in WA. That information will be vital to future understanding of how we might expect uh, resistant path pathogens and pathotypes to uh, spread within the landscape. Um, and that is, as I say, particularly relevant in Western Australia given the, the uh, detection of fungicide resistance um, in barley pathogens over the last five to 10 years. Supporting Leon's PhD journey is a key focus of the CCDM, a co-investment by the Grains Research and Development Corporation and Curtin University. Centre Director Professor Mark Gibbard says the project has a dual purpose, to deliver research outcomes for growers and develop science capability for the future. We want our students to be growing and developing their research capability both in the laboratory but also on farms, uh, interacting with the industry, interacting with state departments and actually having a, an all-rounded skill set. So, so yes, it, it's challenging and it's really hard work, but the training and the outcomes are there and that's, that's what we hope to achieve. The final stage of the project is lab-based, a molecular analysis of over a thousand bags of the barley leaf and barley stubble samples collected in the field. It's hoped when the study reaches a conclusion by the end of 2021, Results will go a long way in helping barley growers better tackle fungicide resistance.